Hey y'all, thank you for tuning in. My name is Ayoka and I'm getting ready to bring you your Virgo reading for today. All right, y'all. So if your sun, moon, or rising is in Virgo, welcome to my channel. If you are a Virgo lover, what's good? Okay, y'all flip the roles as you see fit. You know who plays what in your story. I don't. I'm just picking up on the energy. So use the spirit of discernment and also what flip the roles as you see fit okay so we're all on different timelines i may pick up on past present or future energies for you um and i may not pick up on your story at all so you know you gotta use that spirit of discernment and you gotta know what to take and what to leave okay my spirit guys do love to drop jewels all right so i definitely get direct messages that will help you to evolve within your own life okay regardless of whoever is in your story showing up it's more about your own evolution at the end of the day all right so i do do this again because it helps us to gain understanding of what our situations are and it gives us a clear view of what we should be doing next okay for ourselves okay all right so now um you guys know how i do i gotta set my intentions right before we get started so energetically we can be on the same page um thank you holy spirit thank you my angelic guys for helping me with this collective virgo reading protect us as we go through the spiritual gates to commune with you close the gates to anything that's not in alignment with the divine's will thank you so much for using me as the messenger for speaking through me loud and clearly for virgo and thank you that no weapons formed against me shall prosper and so it is i'm touching my salt bowl just a little bit y'all Okay, so what I want to do here is I'm going to pull from my energy oracle deck and let's just see what the overall energy is for your situation. So, you know, of course, um, energy is very fluid. So this literally can, um, this can stand for any time you view this video. So let's just put it that way. So it's not time stamped at all. Thank you. Show me what I need to see here for my Virgos. What is the overall energy for Virgo as it stands now in the present moment? Okay, somebody's anxious about this journey, <laughs> okay, because I got the journey card in the reverse and the anxiety card in the upright position, okay, so it may feel like there's some type of delay, um, or you may feel like you're not going to be able to get there, but something seems to be throwing you off where you're not able to take this move okay now whether you are going on a vacation you're traveling moving to another house or you're just planning on moving into another situation where it could be a relationship however it may be but you're anxious about it okay because it seems like it's just taking forever for you to be able to take this next step here all right so this is really interesting because it seems like it's playing along with my daily read I did today. So if you haven't checked that out, go to my page and view that video from it, please, y'all. And um, don't forget to hit the like button just because, okay? Right? But look, y'all, check this out also. I forgot to tell y'all. I do have membership packages. Um, It's the Divine Feminine Squad, and then I have my Soul Tribe Squad. So basically what I do within that um, particular groups is I, I will do collective readings for you guys um, but it's, it's almost as personal as ever right because it's just me tapping into a selective few um, energy instead of it being on a collective basis like this um, you do have um, accessibility to me I couldn't get it out accessibility to me through Instagram too as well so you can message me and actually like ask questions in regards to the videos that I do post right if you definitely feel like it relates to your situation um I do drop like inspirational um messages I do card pulls for you guys it's so much in that communities that you can actually get out of it you get discounts on merchandise things like that but check it out for me y'all it's on my channel so when you go there it'll show you the membership packages that I actually do have I just have two for now um because it is a lot for me to be able to try to figure out how I can um put myself into every single thing here without feeling an imbalance or feeling like I'm juggling and, and, and I'm just out of my, you know what I'm saying? I'm out of my mind at this moment, right? So I'm trying to figure out how I can go about doing these things and still um, be able to put my energy into everything without being pulled every which way. Thank you guys who have sent me um, love offerings too as well. I definitely appreciate you guys. I definitely, I took my email 
off of my phone because it's taking up too much storage and it, it affects me with the recording time but for the most part i am getting it y'all i can't respond back to y'all too much through paypal you know how through cash app you can hard it or something like that but um i i am i'm letting y'all know verbally here i appreciate the hell out of y'all thank you it comes right on time y'all just don't know so thank you so much and i was able to actually take donations that you guys have been giving me and putting it back into the community i just had somebody hit me up i just gave it because if they had enough to to ask me to help them out they must have needed it okay so i'm definitely taking what you guys are offering me and and paying it back forward into the community too as well um so thanks, thanks so much for everything you guys are doing. All right, so I'm gonna jump right in here. Thank you, show me what this is about here, Spirit. Where does this anxiety coming from? And give us some outcomes, tell us what we need to know. Thank you. Thank you, my Spirit team, for showing up and showing out. Thank you. Show me what I need to see here. Y'all know I like my cards to flip out, so I will keep shuffling till these suckers get to flying. <laughs> All right, so what I see here is that it's something here with the Page of Cups in reverse, and I'm getting ready to show y'all. King of Swords, and then I got my Nine of Pentacles. All of these are reverse cards. And with this Page of Cups here in a reverse, someone's keeping something to their self, okay? And they're not really showing it. That's the thing. It's like, whatever this idea is that you have, you are definitely keeping it to yourself wow what is this about here and when i got the king of swords here in a reverse position this could be energy or it just literally could be um a masculine coming through okay so whether it's you maybe being so i don't even feel like this is you virgo i definitely feel like this is someone else's energy coming in it's one of these things where this king of swords is being very selfish here or they're being manipulative here or calculated or something here that they're doing here. Um, and they're not really communicating it is what I'm hearing. Okay. So instead of them being blunt about whatever it is that they need to speak on or whatever they need to, you know, to think here, to, to communicate it, they're not doing that. And I really see here also that their standards aren't really set really high when it comes to this okay so it's just one of these things here right now where they're controlling their emotions um they they're definitely being very irrational or either calculated when it comes to this and they're not speaking of it at all and they're being very guarded it's also what i'm seeing with the nine of pentacles in the reverse so instead of them you know again having high standards for whatever needs to take place here in this situation they're more worried about certain aspects of, you know, what they're going to do here with their own self, their own individuality is what I'm saying, their own independence, right? Because um, if they take and make this move now, what's going to end up happening, they're going to have to give up that independence to be able to do this. And when I, when I say that, it, it to me is coming in more as like some type of financial independence, okay? Not necessarily like being codependent and relying on someone to help you financially. Nah, this person here definitely is getting themselves together when it comes to their financial life, okay? And they're worried about giving that up um, at this point here because whatever, if they make this move, um, it's going to affect their money, okay? And it's a lot of anxiety behind that, okay? So whether that's you, Virgo, that's anxious because it's not happening and it's taking forever and you're like, what the hell is going on? Why Why haven't we gotten to, you know, this next step yet, okay? Or this could be them coming in here just anxious about making this move and this is why they are delaying it or procrastinating or whatever it may be, right? But we're going to go ahead and continue to let the cards speak um, in reference to this. Thank you, sir. Show me what I need to see here show me more here what is this anxiety about here what is the whole nature of this story what's the back story what's the forefront story what <laughs> we need to know it all thank you okay so what i'm saying here is that it's requiring some patience definitely um when it comes to committing to this particular process okay with the temperance card that just came out so it has to be some type of balance here in order for you or this person to be able to achieve what they want okay and in order for them to work in harmony with you is what i'm hearing and to follow this process with the higher front there has to be balance 
And they want to be able to, with this Five of Cups, and then I'm going to show y'all the Moon card together, okay? They want to be able to literally move on from this without experiencing any type of loss or grief. Wow. And so they're blocked in their intuition most definitely because they're not sure how to go about doing this. And when I did the reading yesterday, it, it just did not work out. Everything that I tried to do to post that video, y'all, it just was not working. My phone kept shutting down and I just said, you know what? Budget, I can't, okay? Maybe I need to start over, <laughs> over again today. But it was really just saying the same exact thing, all right? And they, they're not tapping into their inner intuition here, Um and they're not able to be able to, to to hear what spirit is saying when it comes to making these decisions, okay? Or what their higher self is saying when it comes to making these decisions to be able to continue to move forward here, all right? And of course, with the moon card again, as I showed you guys, you know, they're very uncertain here about how to go about doing it, okay? This is, this is where the fear and anxiety is coming in. Um, and they need to get very clear about this, especially with this four of wands, because what they want to do is be able to have something to celebrate for, okay? Where they can continue to um, create this reliable foundation for themselves or even have a relaxed home environment or even if they want you know like the higher front car speaks of marriage too even if they want to get married and, and, and be able to have a, an engagement and do all of this stuff where everyone supports it okay not just you know this is something between y'all two but this is something that can get public acknowledgement on top of that and because Again, we're going to see what's happening here and what's leading up to this grief. But we already know, most likely it's because of the third party situation. But I ain't going to speak on it yet because I can have some new viewers, okay, <laughs> that have tuned in, right? But we know that Virgo, our story has been playing out pretty much like a bag on literally like the soap operas, right? Like every single day, <laughs> it's like a continuation from yesterday, y'all. Somebody asked me what's my sign um, in one of the comments and I didn't get a chance to respond to y'all, but yes, I am a Virgo. So Virgo sun and I have um, Taurus moon, Taurus rising, y'all. So yeah, all earth. But yeah, they want to be able to do that and they're not getting the support that they need here um, when it comes to that. And it's not coming from you, Virgo. It's just the, the, the support that could be coming from, you know, of other people, um, family. Um, shoot, if they got someone that they got children by, however it may be, right, they're not getting the support from that side. And they want to be able to get supported from everyone. Okay, so yeah, this is why this person has a lot of anxiety and ain't done it yet. But overall, they got a clear vision of what it is that they want for themselves. Okay, and look, and that's to work in harmony with you. They want all of y'all to be able to work together as a team when it comes to this, right? They should, y'all, actually really do share the same goals with this person um that's coming through it's just that they want to be able to and it's so crazy because i just thought about the reading i did shoot i think it was weeks ago for virgo when it was like they want um you and their children's mother or father to be able to work together right that teamwork make the dream work type shit like how can we co-parent you know together how can we all make this work together right so this is where the anxiety is at and why they can't you know really make no moves right now all right but they're already still they're already still clear and that's what it's been pretty much they, they're clear They've been clear. They know what they want here. It's just now they need to communicate that it, right? Five of Wands, they need it to not be no conflict, okay? <laughs> they like, in order for us to work together, the conflict has to end. But how do we get this conflict to end where we can all work together and do this, you know, as partners? Or we can share the same common goal at the end of the day and collaborate this. How can we be able to call it a truce? Because, of course, Virgo, as we've been doing it and listening to the readings, whoever they're tied, um, tied to, it's a competition for them. It ain't one for you, right? But it's a competition for them, right? They're they're fighting to the death of them to try to win this situation. But um, <laughs> you like, I ain't even, I ain't even in the game. I'm not even. I'm over here minding my business, you know, whatever, right? But you're you're not focused on that. But um, this person definitely knows here that, you know, it's an imbalance. 
for the most part, imbalance with them and this other person here. And that's what's creating the imbalance between you two. But with this two of cups in the upright position, and this is what how they see, you know, you. So when it's like, in order for them to come together with you, the conflict has to end, all right? So that y'all can come together with this partnership, all right? Whether it's for real partnership, like a business partnership or um, some type of connection or, or so that y'all can have something that is balanced and equal, right? This to me still seems more like relationship type material type stuff going on here, but you know, take it how it resonates for your story, all right? Because not everybody going to be in a relationship. This could literally be somebody you work with, but for the most part here, it's like in order for y'all to be able to work in harmony with each other, that situation has to it has to be some peace and balance here for it to happen. Wow. It's it's good to hear it from this perspective. Um, because you know, we've been hearing it from our our side for the most part. But to hear it from this other person's perspective now coming in is like, look, I know what I want. It's just that I need it to be balanced so that we can be able to get here with the two of wands, okay, to the overall goal when I'm planning for the future, which is what? The higher part. Marriage, you know, following the process, being committed to this process with you, Virgo. Okay, so with this high priest is in a reverse position again, it's like they're repressed in their, in their um, intuition when it comes to this totally repressed here. And with the nine of wands, this is where that stubbornness or that defensiveness is coming about this with this two of wands. Again, them planning for the future. I'm also seeing this high priest is in the reverse as a feminine energy, which is probably this other person coming in and they're coming in as this revive this reverse high priestess who definitely has a lot of hidden motives here okay or they're hiding their true selves for the most part but they is some things here that they 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 know what is going on all right because we know the high priestess pretty much is aware okay you are tapped in into um the spirit room you, you your intuition is always like on point um definitely catching the downloads this person knows what's going on Okay, and I have been speaking about that throughout the other reading. So if you missed it, definitely go to my channel, click on those videos, right? It'll catch you up. But for the most part here, they know exactly what your person is planning. It's the the fact is, is that your person's not speaking on it. They're waiting for it to come out. But they know. And they're hiding it. They're hiding it well. Okay. And they're being very patient, is what I'm seeing when it comes to this. Thank you. Show me what this um High Priestess Hidden Motives is in the reverse here, Spirit. Thank you. Yep, Seven of Swords coming out. It's like they are wearing a mask and acting like they don't know. They could be lying, being deceptive about something. Show me what that's about. Instead of them coming straight out and, and being like, you know what? I know what's up. You know, I know what's up here. Why don't you just speak your truth? They're going to keep they gonna keep playing along with the lies here. And the games need to end. Thank you. Show me what I need to see. Somebody needs to um, confess something here. This is just like crazy. But with the Ten of Swords in the upright position, um, when it comes to this, they're doing it because they don't want to break up with this person or, or they don't want it to end or they don't want to grieve, okay? Or they don't want to feel like a failure. It's so many, it's so many things that are coming to my mind. They don't want to be bitter, Okay, and they don't want this. It's like, you know, when all of this shit hits the fan, it's going to be a dead end for them. And whatever way it may be for them with your person here that's coming through, this is why they are um, trying to play along with this. Okay, and being deceptive about how much information they actually know. I just heard that, yeah, they get tarot readings too. So they already know about you. And what's up? Thank you. Show me what I need to see. This person watches you. If you're a tarot reader, this person watches you. Thank you. Show me what I need to see. Four pentacles in an upright position. They're pretty much holding on to this situation, even though they know they need to let it go. They know that this isn't their person. Okay, but they're holding on to it because it's something here. Um, they value the material aspect of this connection more than anything else. 
and they feel like they'll be able to attain some type of wealth if they stay connected with this person. It's about the money. It's not about anything else. It's about them wanting to what knock you. Shit, that's the reading I did the other day with the comment getting ready to contact you, honey. They want to literally knock out the competition here. Ten of Wands in a reverse position. They don't care. Even if they are doing this by themselves and your person don't show up to the motherfucking party, they still are going to do what they can here to keep this. Thank you. Show me what I need to see. Mm. Yep, eight of cups in the reverse. Look at that. Even though they ain't happy, they're going to stay in this situation because of their abandonment issues. They know that they're supposed to go and not be in this situation, most definitely. But they have some codependencies here, and this is why they are staying um, in this situation, regardless if they're not together or not. It's like energetically, nah, we're tied to each other. They got children, like, nah, we got children together. We're tied to each other. I'm not going nowhere, right? Because you know how that goes, right? When when you got children by people, for some odd reason, they just think that they got seniority, right? Or they think that, you know, oh, we're going to get back together, whatever. However, I got the kids. Yeah. You know how that goes, y'all. But the page of swords here in a reverse position. So, they, <laughs> what I'm hearing is, right, what my spirit team is saying is just like, this person is scattered in their thinking. And they're very gossipy and argumentative. Okay, instead of them actually communicating here um, what they know, right, <laughs> and being upfront about this here, they coming off and they just emotional as shit, okay? They're emotional here. Um, they're being insulting and they're failing to communicate this stuff here. So they really just um, being a disservice to their own self is what I'm hearing when it comes to this. Thank you. you yeah, look at this. Queen of Cups in the reverse position. Look, y'all. Queen of Cups, reverse position, Knight of Cups. <laughs> wow. They both looking at each other like, <laughs> so for this masculine energy coming in with that Knight of Cups energy, they, they just disappointed. And this Queen of Cups is just, again, very needy, very overly emotional when it comes to this. And they've been doing things like treading lightly when it comes to this person here because, of course, they're, they are very codependent. So they feel like they have to walk on eggshells with this person here. This is why they do things like it seems like they're in and out. But the communication is like, hey, what's up, my Virgo text message? Oh, let me drop through real quick, Virgo. I want to see you. I miss you. Da, da, da. But it's never nothing where they come in full force here with the higher font you know, um, committing to the journey or the process. It's because of this person here. Is yeah, is they 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 <laughs> what I'm saying here is they either um yeah this masculine energy is either trying to avoid whatever the conflict is there, so they're trying to go about it with this passive aggressive um energy, right? And I'm even seeing here that they are even running and throwing out empty promises. So they may be saying one thing, but they're not following through. Okay, running hot and cold with that energy here because with the five of um pentacles here in the reverse and our good old three of wands in the upright position. Your person is like, look, I'm trying to get this to be some type of positive changes here. I want to be able to continue to recover from this adversity instead of me having to keep going through these constant hardships here, especially when it goes to me looking ahead for my future. Especially when I, you know, as I'm planning here for my future, I want to be able to go in doing that with confidence, knowing that when I do this expansion, I won't feel any loss financially, y'all. Okay. Debt. That's what I keep hearing. Not being having any debt, not being um having high balances with their credit cards or unpaid loans because whatever takes place, because like I was telling you, this person um that they're connected to, they are definitely in it for the money. So they're trying to hold on because of the money thing, even though it's like, all right, you you can leave or you can do whatever you you know, get with that that other person, get with Virgo if you want. I'm definitely gonna hit your pockets. That's terrible. And that's what the message has been literally coming in for a minute. It's, it's they're in that situation for the wrong reasons. But the thing is, it's like what I'm hearing is that is your person's karma, Virgo. Okay. Because they aligned with this person out of greed. 
So it was more anyway about that materialism when they connected with this person and that's what they got. And that's what that's their karma that they'll have to pay for this. And this is why they're trying to delay the inevitable with this. But what I'm hearing is, oh no, the towers will fall. Thank you. Show me what I need to see here for this person that's coming in this high priestess and reverse energy here when it comes to this. What do we need to see here? Go, yep, look at that gold. <laughs> <laughs> what else jumped out? Endings are inevitable. Check this out. That came out earlier for um my daily read. Endings are inevitable, okay? So Virgo, you may even, you know, it's some adjustments that's going to have to be made in this transition, okay? And so, you know, sometimes we got to do our, we got to, we have to obtain our own closures to certain situations because you may not necessarily exactly get it, okay? But it's inevitable even for this karmic person, all right? Look at this. Morning, the world awaits you, okay? So this is, let's see, I'm going to pull, um, I'm going to read the book when it comes to this. So we know that this person here is in it for the goal. For the money, whatever that may be, right? And that's what they're focused on. They think that they think that your person will be able to fix them in some kind of way to set them straight. Okay. Whatever they're trying to do with their financial plans or goals, okay, they think that your person can help them attain that. All right. So this person is definitely that what I'm hearing is is that this person is trying to portray this energy as if they're broken, as if they don't have things, right? And they can't do it without your person's help. They need, they're saying it almost as if I need your, I need your help to be able to do this because I can't do it alone here, right? Wow. And they know that your person is vulnerable and this is why they do it. It, your person doing it out of selfless acts, okay, pretty much like, let me help them, let me do this, let me, you know, be here, you know, I've, I, this is my obligation too as well, so your person feels definitely obligated here to this person, but the problem is, is that this person uses Virgo, your person's vulnerability here, okay, so that they can be entirely dependent on them, and that's it. That's, that's funky. I don't like that shit. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm like, wow. Okay. Now, with this endings are inevitable card that came out, it says, as humans, we tend to see things in black and white, forgetting to account for all of the gray in between. So there is someone in your life who be who's beginning to fade away, or maybe they're, they're gone altogether now, right? But don't fight it. Okay. So again, this is what's happening within that situation. This person is fading away and... That karmic person knows exactly what's happening. They know your person is leaving and they feel it and they're fighting it. Instead of them releasing it, right, so that more can come in for them, right, and they heal from the situation, accept it, and move on, they're fighting it all together. And I'm telling you, they are like, I'm going to be the last person standing when it comes to this. Okay, now it says here, real relationships are not the same as the fairy tales we know and love. There are no neat and tidy bold to the to tie things up at the end okay they won't they're not satisfied and they need to move into a state of acceptance here when it comes to this but the acceptance part isn't easy for them of course why because of the abandonment issues that they have okay and that's what they need to work on they need to work on being able to create this closure within this situation here right and you also need to you know realize here it's like we already know, Virgo, you don't wait for no one. You don't wait for no one. Only thing that you need to do is to keep on progressing. Um, you let them deal with their own karma. This is not yours. And that's what um, the divine has definitely been really putting on all of us in our lives. It's like you have to deal with your own karmic cycles. You have to close those cycles out yourself. You have to evolve because it's about you at the end of the day and your evolution here, not no one else's. And just like you are doing the work for yourself, Virgo, this person here has to do their own work. They have to close out this karmic cycle. The ending is inevitable. It's not going to go anywhere. This person coming in is not going to be able to manipulate this situation any longer. As you know, as I've been reading over the past couple of weeks, these karmics are definitely in spiritual court right now. Okay. And this card, I want to see what it says. It says, morning, the world awaits you.
yeah, this person isn't truly living. It's like a repeat pattern over and over and over again. It's like they get up, you know what I'm saying? You go through your day, you go back to sleep, repeat. You get up, you go through your day, you go back to sleep, repeat. They're not truly living here. <sighs> They need to wake up. And that's what just came to me. They need to wake up. Thank you. What is it going to require for this person to wake up, spirit? My spirit team. Woo. The hangman came out in the reverse. This person in your life, Virgo, has to leave that. And this is when they'll wake up. Once they... Just stop procrastinating, stop being uncertain, and they move forward here, this person will fully wake up because they'll realize, like, okay, they're gone. This person has to gain a new perspective, too, as well, in order for them to fully wake up because they're still stuck. Because they're in this waiting energy and they are still very uncertain about what's happening because um, your person here, Virgo, is stalling it. This is why they're not able to see things, you know, from a different perspective here when it comes to this. Because your person is still kind of like, it could be something there that's going on where they still, you know, because they're not speaking the full truth here, they're still holding on to the idea here that this situation will progress, okay? And that your person will literally, what, gain a new perspective about them. Wow. Anything else? Here we go. My team, do you think you want to tell us what Virgo, this person in Virgo's life next move is? You think we, we want to let us know? So there's still currently in this energy with the eight of cups in the reverse. So they're still currently stuck between walking or staying, okay? And that's still current, what's happening. It's still an imbalance here with the temperance in the reverse, okay? The balance needs to be restored to this situation. So what this person is doing in your life, Virgo, is trying to do things in moderation, Instead of going full force, you know how you go straight cold turkey? Mm -mm. It's like, let me just do it in moderation here, especially when it comes to my Virgo. And, and that's what they've been doing to try to bring balance to this stressful ass situation that they have created for themselves. But you're over here looking like, is that it? <laughs> mm -mm. I bring too much to the table here. You know, I am balanced. I am harmony. <laughs> you know, I am wise. And you keep trying to do things in moderation? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay? So, you may even be very, um, a little, let's say, aggressive. It's more one of those energies here where I feel like you may just be, like, very straightforward. Very very direct but it's more blunt it's not no beating around the bush it's none of that it's straight like uh like whatever i don't like you know what's happening here which is good but you know it's more about you being assertive here and being direct here instead of being you know impatient and and really that controlling energy here because i know you want to get to this point where you're being recognized and y'all moving forward right and this person is definitely mirroring your energy with that with the six of wands they want that, right? And it's just that they're not offering that right now, okay, with the Knight of Cups. And we see why. We already know what the energy is about here and why they're not offering that this minute, okay? And this is why you're not, it seems like there's no movement when it comes to this, okay? But overall, they thrive off of you and they're inspired off of you here, okay? And they know what they want to create when it comes to you guys' connection here. Thank you. I'm hearing, let them deal with their karma. Okay? They want to offer you their cup. But that situation is blocking them. So it's still some stuff here that they have to close out with that cycle. 
all right? And again, you gotta let them. <laughs> you definitely gotta let them. If there's something that you want um, and you see this, or you see this person being a part of your story here, the adjustments, you know, make them. Or you can make plans to do something entirely different. You know, it doesn't even, if you like, you know what, I'm, I'm not doing it no more. I'm done. It's okay. Do that. Definitely do that. Or make some adjustments here when it comes to this situation as this person is closing out this, these karmic cycles. Thank you. Show me what I need to see. I always say, hey, here, if I'm thinking about it and I want to connect back, I need to make sure you're right. I, don't come back over here with no bullshit because we ain't repeating that same cycle. And some of y'all just may be like, I, I'm i not even going to give you the opportunity to do it. You know, so it just depends on where you're at at this moment. Um, but look, it says here is a wonderful new idea. So don't allow the bumps in the road to hinder your progress. And this is literally what it is, is, is like a bump in the road. Okay, that's it. Ace of Michaels here in the upright position. You keep moving forward. You don't let that block your happiness. You keep moving forward, okay? And you keep progressing and you keep growing and manifesting and all of that great stuff while this person deal with their karmic, okay? They made their bed and now they got to lay, lay in it. And you don't need no drama showing up at your doorstep, all right? With the Ace of Raphael here that just came out. This card basically is saying that this is going to be a positive new emotional experience. Something deep and lasting. So you're gaining a lot of spiritual insight when it comes to this situation. And so is this person. So that they won't keep doing this shit, right? This is what they're learning. All right? You have invested wisely with the seven of Aries. Arrow. Ariel. So you definitely have invested wisely. So don't feel like, like, God I didn't put my energy into this no good piece of <laughs> But have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and continue to make plans for your next endeavor. This is why it's, it came out with that adjustments are required earlier for some of you guys um, in my collective reading. And I'm going to read that to y'all. Here we go. Look, and it's still on the page. It says here, think of yourself as a vessel that has been filled more and more over the past weeks. Some of what has come your way may have been wonderful, but there's also a lot of negativity and you need to let go of this. Whatever situation you're asking about now, be honest about whether they, there are toxic emotions involved, involved which you need to release into the ethers. This card also comes with the promise that all is not lost. However, there are changes or adjustments required before you get to where you want to be. A change, of course, is in the forecast now that recent events have been understood and acted upon. There may also be a crisis now which will remind you what you want and what it's time to let go of. So pay attention. What you should be focusing on, Virgo, is reevaluating this situation, okay, because things may be out of balance, Um. And this is what it, what's causing your issues in your now, okay? So it's time to hatch a whole new plan here. But guess what? Something new and exciting is around the corner for you. You're just going to have to trust, all right? That's what's required to move this situation forward. Stay in a state of trusting, especially, again, you guys, um, I hope you ain't still watching if, if this is not something you want for yourself, okay? I would have been tuned on like, ah, no, I don't want that. Right, but if 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 this is something that you desire for yourself, move into a state of trusting here because this is what's going to continue to push this situation forward. All right, it's a time of falling away and a time to reevaluate. No matter when you draw this card, the teaching is to release and to trust. Y'all got that? Thank you. Look at that. <laughs> Y'all can't see it because it's in my handwriting. Karmic in it for the money. I feel like your person has been coming up financially, okay? And this karmic person is all like, oh, no, nah, I'm not letting that go. They're getting ready to expose some of your person's secrets here. And... 
for the most part, this has been coming out where your person doesn't know how to free themselves from this situation here. This is why they're not making any movement because they want it to be balanced here, okay? And where you all can be able to eventually work together when it comes to this because how they're going to jump out with this, this shit is going to be all publicized because they, the you, I already know, Virgo, you're not keeping, you're like, nah, we ain't keeping this under wraps, honey, especially if they plan on marrying you. This person, this karmic person has a hidden agenda and we've been seeing it um, all throughout these readings. But that's what I'm going to pull cards for. It. Okay. Just so I can get a little quick synopsis here for y'all. I ain't showing y'all these cards because you can't see them. Because it's written in my in my hand write, handwriting in cursive. It's from my moment in truth deck. I do have um, the artwork and everything done. I just haven't had them printed. Um, as of yet because it's expensive as hell y'all so it gotta make sense here so i was thinking about getting my own cutting machine but and just doing them you know letting someone print them and then i cut them myself um but i still kind of debating i that's something that i was a project i was working on over um the pandemic when we were fully shut down so um i just haven't you know moved forward with it but i know when the time is right it'll happen thank you All right, so making myself some room here because I got very ample space. And y'all, thank you for being so patient with me for the most part here because it's really about the message, you know, overall. So I'm here to deliver these messages and I make do with what I got at the moment. Not everybody may be satisfied with, you know, my setup, but it ain't about that at the end of the day. It's about what I'm here to show and teach you guys, okay? So thank you. What are these secrets that this karmic person is exposing about Virgo's person? What are these secrets about here? Show me what I need to see. Queen of Swords energy in the reverse position, okay? Hmm. So this karmic person is pretty much allowing their emotions to get the best of them right now. And this is why they are running their goddamn mouth. Thank you. Show me what I need to see. Again, remember, they were coming out as that queen of cups in the reverse position. All codependent and overly emotional. Right? And whatever happened in the past with this ten of swords in the reverse, it's an old situation here. All right? That happened. That ended badly. Okay? And... Um, your person Virgo still holds on to that situation. They haven't dealt with it. So they're speaking about that situation. Okay, whatever that may be, I'm going to find out with the four cups in the reverse position here. And that's why they're so withdrawn or uninspired, you know, to do certain things is because of that situation that ended badly. What is that situation that ended badly here? Something that burdened them with the Ten of Wands in the upright position. Okay, so it was, it's a situation that exhausted the hell out of them. It burdened them. And they ended up doing too much by themselves with that situation. Show me what that is here. The Emperor in the reverse. This is why they now lack this discipline, right? This is why... Um, they don't have any type of structure when it comes to certain things here. And I'm saying here, hmm, is this something dealing with, hold on, speak, speak. Thank you. Show me what I need to see here. Is it something dealing with a father or something dealing with something that set them back tremendously? They feel like whatever that situation was, they regret it completely. It didn't turn out the way that they expected it, okay? And they're very disappointed about that situation. And it may be dealing with someone who um, is a father figure, definitely coming to me, okay? Thank you, show me what I need to see. This person did some shit in their low vibrational energy here. And um, wow, thank you, ooh. All right, show me what I need to see here, spirit. Something happened with your person and a friend of theirs is what's coming to me. But let me see something. Show me what I need to see here. An old friend. Yep. I have 
Yep, it was some type of conflict. I got the two of cups in the reverse position here. So whoever they were real cool with before, they had a real close bond with this person. A very close bond. Whether it was a friend, whether it was a lover, whoever it was, it was almost as if they were in business or partnerships or something with this person. And they had some type of conflict. It was involving several people, not just one. Okay, so they were all arguing, fussing, whatever it is, and the shit ended really badly. Okay, and so it's something here that your person may have told this karmic person about this, and they're they're spilling the oh, they spilling the tea. They are spilling the tea with this shit. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's the nine of wands in the reverse, y'all. Um, it's that setback is what makes your person not so resilient when it comes to, um. It pushes them where they just get exhausted, especially when it comes to forming close relationships with people. So they shut down, okay, because of those setbacks. They, they struggle to form those intimate relationships with people because of them in these past situations, right? And for the most part, they had communicated this with this karmic person here with the Page of Swords. So whatever they said, they was real blunt about this, okay? And they were speaking it straightforward. I mean, I mean, it was just coming out. So they was talking to this person and confident, you know, talking to their karmic and confident um, about this. They they was not holding back on any of it, all right? And now, oh, wow, this is crazy. So everything that they told this karmic person about this friend or these friends, they are speaking about it, okay? So with the seven of pentacles here in the reverse position, it's something that they were actually, um, your person he was actually committed to. Okay, they were trying to get be successful with this situation. I, I keep hearing like it was like a group thing or a group effort, um, group friendship, partnership or something here where they may have did something and they made money doing this thing. Okay, they were working towards something, some type of goal here when it comes to this. Okay, and it, yeah, wow, show me what I need to see. What I'm seeing here is a lot, it, it a lot of, all of them, whatever happened here with this group of people, all of them lack discipline. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse position. Okay, so they were focused for the most part on trying to create something when it came to this. And because of the conflict, whatever happened, they weren't able to get to that. All right, and so now they're feeling, they're kind of, I really feel like they're beating themselves up. Your person may be still kind of like, not really beating themselves up, but it's more one of those things where they keep replaying it over and over and over again in their head, right? And because of that situation, they keep trying to focus on what exactly happened, what created the loss, right? What happened? Where was the breakdown at in this situation here and why it didn't work? Because they were working on trying to do something here. Um, and they put a lot of work in it. Thank you. Yep. Nine of Cups in an upright position. This was something here that was a part of one of their, you know, wish fulfillments. Definitely. They were very content with this situation here. They did, you know, fall into error with certain things, right? Overindulge is also what I'm seeing here. But... They were overlooking, you know, all of those things at one point because they still had the same common goal. But some some truth was revealed. And this is how they got this breakdown with this Ten of Cups in the reverse. Mm. Your person wasn't communicating honestly with this. They were struggling to communicate honestly with this because the situation just wasn't, it wasn't harmonious. So it just ended up being, you know, a lot of truth that was spoken, but it was coming across as harsh, you know, argumentative, no one in agreement when it came to this. So this comic person here is exposing that secret, those secrets and speaking about that to people or even, who are they speaking to this to spirit? Let's find out about that. Who are they speaking to this to? Who are they telling this stuff to? I just heard the world. Any and everybody who will listen. <laughs> That's not funny, y'all. But what I got here that came out is the will card. Okay, so with this will card here, um, they doing it thinking that, you know, 
things will return back to normal in some kind of way. Okay, so that what they're trying to do is have this willpower to try to create a situation here where things will get better. Okay, so I guess they call themselves like, well, maybe if I tell and speak about what's happening here, what really happened, I can fix this situation here. And then, bam, that's a one up for me. Right. I can fix this situation here and I can keep it where, you know, um, your person here, Virgo, doesn't struggle to see any progress any long, longer and they won't keep avoiding to look at the problem. Because your 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 person here literally has been putting on a blindfold when it comes to that. Okay. And they really just kind of like, it's like they've done away with it. It's one of these energies I'm feeling like they've definitely done away with it. And this karmic person feels like, okay, I can, you know, help create this situation to be better if I only tell them what I know. Or tell somebody within that group what I know. Or somebody connected to these people what I know here. Look, Page of Pentacles. So they literally sitting up here um, trying to manifest this. It's like one of their personal goals here that they feel like they can turn into reality. And then they can fix it. And of course, that'll be a one-up for them, right? And your person here will be like, oh my God, you know, I really need to help with that. But mm, what's the outcome? Oh, yeah. It's cre they're creating an illusion with it with the moon card here in the, the upright position. So it's still not some full truths that are coming through. Okay, so they're not definitely not clear. Ace of Cups in the reverse. What I'm seeing here is that there's going to be some negative chances. That negative changes. This is going to be unfruitful. That's going to fall through. Okay. Page of Cups in the upright position, y'all. This is a lot. This person, this comic person is open to all possibilities with this. They don't care. They just like, how can I manifest this? They're doing any and everything that they can to try to save this connection here um, with your person. Thank you. What is this um, hidden agenda? Is that what it was? Mm -hmm. And I spoke about that in a previous reading too. So when it comes to taking this leap of faith or this new beginning here with the full card here and then with the two of pentacles in the reverse, this is basically speaking of, you know, they're trying to really, really, it's going to be some truth reveal. I just seen that. Wow. So what they're trying to do here is, um, of course, go into a new beginning in love with this person here by um making some type of decision okay and they're trying to get the strength to be able to do that all right and your person literally has been juggling for the most part trying to manage their time their energy their resources all of that right and this is why you may see like they haven't really fully communicated clearly what it is because they are still trying to juggle some things here but um, of course, again, it's some type of truth that's getting ready to be revealed here. And that's what the hidden agenda is about. Okay. Something here where they feel like if they reveal this truth, it'll help them overcome this obstacle. What is this truth about here? What is this two of pentacles in the reverse spirit? Queen of Swords. Look, same cards. Queen of Swords in a reverse position. So they're going to try to be all emotional about this. Yep. And that's what's happening. So they're trying to literally stop your person here from even speaking this about this new beginning by keeping them stuck, right? By being extremely overly emotional, um, very direct, very argumentative, whatever that may be, so that this will be another situation here that they will hold on to. So this comic person knows how vulnerable your person is when it comes to these type of things because they have failed time over time over time when it comes to relationships, whether it's friendships, whether it's, you know, love, whatever. So that they will be so withdrawn in their energy and not accepting no new friends. Let me tell you, no new invitations, no new friends, no new love. Let me try to do some shit and be my, be, woo, acting my worst self here so that our situation can end so goddamn badly and that they will be burdened by love period by friendships period and won't do nothing they'll be so exhausted they ain't accepting nothing no invites from virgo whatsoever thank you what is the outcome here
I'm still seeing here that your person Virgo is still working on ending this regardless because they already have a vision of what they see for themselves. So they're still putting their energy and their focus into what? Creating a foundation for themselves, working, mastering whatever skill that they have. But they're seeking their own happiness right now. It's not that. It's not the it's not for the collective of this, you know, for this person. Let's just put it this way. Okay, they don't care about having any harmony with this person. They're more focused on their own happiness at this point. And they just gotta get past that struggle of communicating it. That's it. They're trying to figure that out. And I, I really do. Will this will that person figure this out? Two of wands in an upright position. Okay, so when that's in an upright position, that's just basically saying here, yep, they, they're still looking to the future and they are trying to achieve this. They're trying to make the right choice when it comes to this. So for the most part here, what I just heard, obstacle resolved. It will be resolved. Thank you. They just have to play out this karmic cycle. This is something they got to do. And when I, um, I think I read it in a, a previous reading, that's what it was saying. That the divine is not allowing this to move forward until that is balanced. There we go. I wanted to um, pull an angel ancestor card for y'all because we're going in until about an hour with this video. Thank you. So, Father Sky. And that's what making adjustments that you have to move into a state of trusting when it comes to this. But you got to trust in the unknown. So even though you don't know what's happening here, you got to trust it. Because this person here has to move beyond those ancestral patterns that were placed upon them. Okay? So they are clearing out. Um, <laughs> a, whoo, and I can't get it out. I can't say what came to me. It's like they're clearing out some type of lineage. Okay? So let me, let me look for my book real quick. Okay? So... Retreat and recharge is what you're supposed to be doing. That's what they need to do, too. Thank you. Show me what I need to see here. Where is that book? Oh, here we go. Wow. So with the Father Sky card, y'all. <clears throat> oh, these eyes and minds are itching. It says, trust that your path is unfolding exactly as it needs to. You have a personal relationship with the great father, right? Know that he is lovingly leading you forward. You are a co-creator of your life and every thought, feeling, intention, and emotion you have is creating the road ahead. With that being said, you don't need to know every single detail of what is going on to unfold before you. When this card appears, you are being guided to step back and get out of your own way because there is a greater power that is not only around you, but within you. And Father Scott is creating the best experience imaginable for you. Accepting this will allow miraculous energy to come into your life so see things from a higher perspective like the eagle on the card this card can also appear when there are opportunities to improve the father connection in your life if your father figure is in heaven know that his spirit is drawing close if he is on earth there's an opportunity to heal something whether past or present and i definitely definitely trust in this card um believe in this card's message a hundred percent y'all because that's where i'm i usually be at with it i used to watch um tarot religiously and i definitely don't suggest it you know i am a tarot reader so yes i do understand that this is what i'm on here to do to deliver messages but don't watch it um where it becomes an addiction and it becomes like you need to know every single detail of what's happening move into a state of trusting i don't even like i'll go and i'll try to watch tarot sometimes and i'll be like Ugh, i don't even want, i don't even want to watch it i can't it'll be set up where i can't even find nothing that uh, you know how you look at the titles to see if it resonates with you i can't even find nothing that resonates with me so I don't even have the desire to watch it because I've already moved into a state of trusting and knowing that what's for me is for me and everything is working out for my highest good. Now, if there's something that comes up and it may be a lot of drama or I need an answer to know what to do next, of course, I'm going to pull my terrible or I may watch something. Um, and I really feel like my team puts it in my in my, in my um my space or in my face so that I can see it purposely because I'll be scrolling through YouTube and it'd be like, oh shoot i needed that right and it'll be exactly what i needed but for the most part here don't you know rely on these things um to be your guide trust trust that 
the divine has everything already worked out and you want the miracles to unfold. But if you know everything in every single detail, you can mess that up for the, for the most part by just knowing too much, right? But just know that everything is working out for your highest good. And for the most part here, it's like, yeah, your person has to move beyond these ancestral patterns that have been placed upon them. This is stuff that's being passed down um, through their family line. This is where these limitations are coming from and why they are constantly dealing with these same cycles over and over again. It's something here that was set before them by family members past and present. This could even be for you, Virgo, too, as well, you know, but the energy of your spirit is more powerful than the genetics and behavioral patterns. The elder is the ancestor who comes with a message of healing change. He is in an embodiment soul. Yet, he has had journeys that go beyond the physical. Therefore, he represents a reclamation of power. When he appears, it is an acknowledgement that you have the capacity to move beyond the limitations that have been placed upon you. If you have expectations of success, failure, sadness, or even sickness placed upon you by your family, it is important to know that you are here to create your own story. This card represents personal healing that will bring healing to your family lineage past, present, and future. Know that you get to decide what you take on. And also know that your ancestors are rooting for you and are sorry for any setbacks that have that they have created for you. Your person always feels like they have a personal setback after setback after setback. That's why they be so stuck and it's hard for them to make certain decisions here. But they are literally, they. this is what's happening. This is what um, is working behind the scenes, okay? So that, y'all, you can't interfere with the divine's work. This is why spirit is like, you got to trust in the process. You got to trust in the universe. You got to trust in your higher self. You got to trust in me, okay? Retreat. Virgo. Wow. Woo, I think we just got told. <laughs> it's all good though, right? Let me tell you, this is our opportunity to grow and learn, right? So we're all in this together, all right? And I'm just the messenger for the most part here, but I totally agree with the message. And I've I've been told this myself just by me doing my own readings or, you know, me getting the downloads from my spirit team. It's like, you don't need to know. Some things, it just would, I, I can't see it. I can't see it. You don't need to know everything. You have to let, um, you have to let the divine work. Okay. And just know that everything is going to be okay. Literally y'all, it is. You can go back over your life and think of certain situations where you thought it was nearly impossible and it happened for you and it worked out, okay? So remember those times where you actually overcame your obstacles and, and, and look at what you obtained by that, all right, y'all? So remember that. That's what we're supposed to be doing with all of those lessons that we're learning throughout journey, right? So that we can go back and look at it and be like, oh yeah, I did overcome that. You know, oh, okay, it did work out in the end okay <laughs> all right y'all so i'm gonna get ready going because this was a long reading but i love y'all so it don't even matter thank you once again don't forget to hit the like or subscribe button if you give it my vibe all right so i'll see y'all tomorrow peace